Now number 15, the last question, paper one of the 2018 New Hire for four marks. Quite like this little question here. Gives you this information about a function and you have to sketch what it might look like. We'll just take them one at a time. x plus 4 is a factor. So if you were solving that equal to 0 to find where it cuts the x-axis, that means x equals negative 4 would be a 0 there. x equal 2 is a repeated root. That would be of the equation equal to 0, but you just use the term root regardless anyway. Well, 2 means, we'll be about there then, but repeated means it's a double hit there. Negative 4 is a clean cut, not sure which way, but 2 means it cuts both ways, it's a bounce, it's a tangent point, I'm not sure which way. It could be coming down, or it could be going up, but it's certainly one of the turning points of the function. And there's the other turning point, because it should have 2. It says, at negative 2, so somewhere along here, if the derivative is 0, there's a turning point. So it all depends which way that one goes. So either there's a turning point here somewhere or a turning point there. We'll just put them down in two possible positions. But I'm still not sure which way they could go. That could be a turning point like this or a turning point like that. But it's got to go through that four there. Now, the last bit of information that should tie all this together. F dash dx, that's the gradient of the curve, is great as positive when it passes through the y-axis. So what are the possibilities? There's only two possibilities. Either it came up through the 4, so that means it would be turning down, going down, in which case that would be negative. So it must be the other way around. It must be coming down through the 4 to go through the point, so that when it passes through the y-axis it's positive, and then bounces back down. There's the possible graph.